It was my choice to direct The Crucible and it has actually been a, a really long time coming for me, I would say. Ever since I first encountered the script over 10 years ago, it was something that um, lived with me, it stuck with me. This, these stories, the lives of John Proctor, of his wife, of Abigail Williams, their stories, um, the lives that these characters live are lives that people live today. And, and, and there's something so visceral about their experiences that for me, I have always wanted to see them played out on the stage. Yeah, so Arthur Miller really wrote this in response to the Red Scare that was going on in the United States, McCarthyism and that, that whole era of American government and the, the fear of communism. And I think for Miller, it was a serious fear to be put on that blacklist and not have a job, not have a way of making money. And I, I think The Crucible um, is really written in response to, to, that, to that hysteria that he experienced. Well, I think that um, the show is a, a, a fingerprint of humanity. Like, I really think that it depicts um, such a human condition in so many different ways. The experiences that play out in the script and on the stage, uh, they stay with you, they go home with you, they change you in, in a lot of different ways. I'm really happy especially to bring this particular show to the stage at Selma and especially to the Selma Arts Center. Uh, it's a beautiful facility and we're so lucky to be able to put on great theater. So if you haven't been to the Arts Center yet in Selma, come, come visit us. Uh, I think you'll be surprised at the quality not only of the building but of the actors as well.